In my last video, I showed you how to use Alexa with Home Assistant without a subscription to Nabucasa using Emulated Hue. In this one, I'll show you how to do the same using Node Red. And while it's not quite as easy to set up, it does support a broader range of device types. And I've personally found this method to be a lot more reliable. Node Red is a flow based programming editor. It basically lets you write logic visually using nodes, often requiring very little, if any, code. It's also been made into a Home Assistant add on, allowing you to leverage Node Red integrations right inside of Home Assistant. And yes, that includes an Alexa integration. If any of that sounds daunting, don't worry. This process does not require a programming background or even any prior experience with Node Red. In fact, in many ways, this is one of the easier methods because you don't have to worry about fixed IP addresses or setting up an Amazon developer account because it's all handled by the integration itself. Before we start, quick disclaimer. This is all made possible by a guy called Ben Hardil. He built the integration we're going to use and he maintains the connection between Node Red and Amazon servers. So credit to Ben for his work. And yes, this does mean you will be reliant on him keeping the service running. There's no guarantees this will work forever. If you really care about long-term reliability, just pay for Home Assistant Cloud and you can sleep easy. Otherwise, let's crack on with the tutorial. Okay, go to Ben's website and create an account. The link to this registration page will be in the video description. I've already created an account, so I'm gonna log in. Once you're in, you'll be taken to the devices page. This is where you add your devices. So anything you want to expose to Alexa should be listed here. I've already added a bunch of devices, but all you need to do is click add device, give it a name. This is the name she will use. So I'll add big lamp. For description, I'm just gonna say living room. And then here's where you add the action. So anything you intend to do with this in terms of voice control, you need to enable here. Set color, set temperature, increment color, all of this is relevant. So I'll enable that. And then for application type, this is a light and press okay. So you're gonna want to do that for all of the devices that you want to expose, but you can always come back here later and add more if you want to. Open your Alexa app. We need to enable the Node Red skill first. So go to skills, search for Node Red, enable the skill, and you will need to log in using the same username and password you created a moment ago. Now go ahead and trigger the voice assistant by clicking the blue speech bubble in the corner or waking up your Amazon Echo. Tell her to discover devices and wait a moment for it to do its thing. Eventually, she should find all the devices you added on Ben's website, but you won't be able to control them just yet because we haven't linked those devices within Home Assistant, which we will do using Node Red. Inside Home Assistant, go to settings, then go to add-ons, add-on store, search for Node, now I already have it installed. You will need to go ahead and install it. And before you start the add-on, you want to enable Watchdog and probably show it in sidebar so you can access it quickly from your sidebar. But also before you start, go into configuration. And if you're not using an SSL certificate, you need to turn this off. If you're not sure whether you're using an SSL certificate, chances are you're probably not. So make sure you turn this off. Otherwise, Node Red won't start. Go back to info, click start. This can take a minute, so I'll just skip ahead. Once it's started, open web UI over here and that will boot the Node Red editor. Okay, now go to the hamburger icon in the corner, go to manage palette, go to install, and we're gonna search for Alexa. We want this one down here that ends in Alexa home skill. As you can see, I already have it installed. You will need to install that and then come out of this window. Now head over to the filter node section and search for Alexa. And we want this one Alexa Home. Drag it onto your canvas and double click to open the properties. At this point, you will need to log into your account again. So click this pencil icon and sign in with the same username and password you created in step one. 
I've already done that, so I won't do it again here. If I come out, you should be able to see your account listed here. If you click that, you'll then see your devices listed. Again, these are the devices you added in step one on Ben's website. If you don't see your devices or your account listed here, just close this window and double click to open it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my first device. I'll leave it as small lamp and click done. And now we're ready to start building out this flow. So at this point, I have a node that is connected to Alexa. So whenever I tell her to do something regarding the small lamp, it will be sent to this node. And to do that effectively, I need to add a particular type of node called a switch node. So if we go back up here, type switch, and it's the yellow function one we're gonna drag on. Just to clarify, this is not a switch device type. This is a switch node and it's only relevant to node red. So don't get that confused. Next, link your device to your switch and then double click the switch to open its properties. Now we're gonna change this to command because we're dealing with commands. And here is where we set our rules in order to direct certain types of commands to different actions within node red. Don't worry if that sounds confusing, it will make sense in a moment. So for this one, I'm going to put turn on request and then I'm going to add another rule for turn off request. And if we click done, you'll see now we have two outputs on this switch. And if I hover over the first one, this is for the turn on request and this is for the turn off request. And by the way, you need to write these exactly as I've written them here, no spaces, otherwise this will not work. So now we have to tell Home Assistant what to do with these requests. And to do that, we're going to use a call service node. So if I go back up here, type call service and drag that one onto the canvas. Then I'm going to connect the on request to that node and then double click to open the properties. I'm going to call this on so I know what it is. And for domain, this is a light and for service, we're going to turn on. You can skip these two and just go straight to entity. And I'm going to find my small lamp entity here and click done. Before we add anything else, let's go ahead and test it. Click the deploy button in the corner. This will basically save the flow. Now open your Alexa app and try to turn on and off this device. You should see a success message inside of Node Red, like I am. And you can obviously verify this by checking the device itself. If this isn't working, try restarting Home Assistant. I've had to do that once or twice when updating these flows. Either way, once you've got the basics working, we can start to scale it. Rather than building everything manually like we have so far, at this point we can start to duplicate nodes. So to add my off node, I'm just gonna copy and paste using my keyboard shortcut and I'm going to connect the second connection point there. Now, if I double click this second node, I can rename that to off. I can change the service to turn off and everything else would be the same. Now I can take this one step further by copying the entire cluster like so and use my keyboard shortcut, command C, command V, paste that below. And now all I need to do is go into the first node, change the device to something else. Let's say a fan, click done. Then I need to go into the service nodes here. We'll change the domain to a fan and the service will be turn on. Then we'll change the entity, so remove that one. I'm going to find my fan entity there and click done. Now we'll go into the second service node and do the same thing again. Change this to a fan domain, change the service to turn off this time and remove the entity as before. Now click done and you would follow this same process to add all of your individual devices. But there is one problem with how this is currently set up because at the moment we only have on and off commands and some devices have more controls that you may want to utilize. For example, this is a bulb so I also want to control brightness, temperature, and color. So let me show you how to do that next. To demonstrate this, I'm going to add a brightness command. And so we need to open our switch and add a new rule. And this time we're going to check for set percentage request. Again, it has to be exactly this value. It's just how the integration is set up. And I'll show you a list of all the supported commands on screen now. Some of these are used for things like smart locks and thermostats. So you'll want to refer back to this for various device types. So now let's click done to apply that. And you'll notice we now have a third option on this switch. So now I'm going to duplicate this call service node 
by copying and pasting. I'm going to put that down here and I'm going to connect it like so. Now, if we open that up, I can rename this to brightness. The domain will still be a light and the service will actually be to turn on since we don't have anything else to select from here. It's a bit counterintuitive, but that's just how it works. Now, when you tell Alexa to adjust brightness, you're actually passing a numeric value in the form of a percentage. So we need to paste a property in the data field in order to pass that value to Home Assistant. And you need to make sure this is set as JSON. Now this part here, the brightness percentage can be replaced. So if you scroll down, we can use various other properties for different use cases. So for example, you would use Kelvin if we were dealing with color temperature. So let's go ahead and apply that. And you can repeat this process as many times as you need to until you have all of your devices, all of your commands and all of your service nodes set up as needed. Just remember to click deploy up here to finalize your changes and you should be good to go. So there you have it, a free way to integrate Home Assistant with Alexa using the Node-RED add-on. If you have any questions about this process, hit me up in the comments, I'm always happy to help. Otherwise, if you want a simpler method and you don't mind being a little more restricted in terms of voice control, check out my video on Emulated Hue on screen now. It might be just what you're looking for. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.